Midjourney is an amazing AI tool where you can create images and photos from your text input. In my opinion, it's the best AI tool out there for images and generates really stunning and picturesque images. It's not as straightforward to use it, so I'm going to show you how to use it in this tutorial. So Midjourney uses a Discord bot. If you don't know what a Discord bot is, it doesn't really matter too much. You can just follow the step-by-step -step guide here. So the first thing uh, you have to do is log in with Discord. Discord, by the way, is a chat app, something similar like Slack or even comparable to something like WhatsApp. You can register a new account. So once you created your Discord account and verified it with your email, you can use this link. The link to that is in, this, is in the description down below. You can accept the invite. And now you have access to the Midjourney uh, bot. What you want to do is go to one of these uh, rooms. They're called rooms where you see newbies. Um, it doesn't really matter what the end of the number is. You can just go into one of those. And how it actually works is you're going to write here in that field as forward slash imagine. So imagine. And then you have your prompt and you can write whatever you want. Uh, let's do a lake on a sunset set on the moon and let's see what our mid journey bot does first you have to accept the terms and services so let's write it again forward slash imagine and then yeah the prompt is whatever you want to write here we enter again and now we have to wait uh, usually it takes around a minute for each image to be uh, generated so we wait the time now and you can see during your wait there are other images generated because this is a chat app uh, but here we see if you have like this uh, orange background, uh, you see that's the, the, the image that was generated and you see it's quite stunning actually. It's not really on the moon, I guess, but uh, it's, it's a beautiful image nonetheless. So what you now can do is either regenerate the image if you didn't like uh, your results that you got here uh, with this icon. You can upscale um, your image. So if your number one or number two image is that that's the one that you like, you can upscale that and Midjourney will upscale and generate a bigger and more refined image of that. Another thing you can do is also variation. So I like the image too quite a lot. So let's do a variation of that. When, when we hit that button, we will actually get four other variations uh, of this image. Now you see we have uh, four different variations. This is just the preview. So we have to wait till it's finished. Now it's finished, so we have the four images of those. So I really like the number four, so let's upscale that. So we can go to upscale number four. Again, we have to wait. Now we have our upscale image. Now if you go on that image, we can go open in browser. Now we have a big image that we can save on our computer. One thing you can also do is use an image from the internet. So let's take that image. How you can take that is if you go right click, and go copy image address. So it's important to have the image address URL and not the website URL. Then we go here and we go imagine. We paste the link to that image and then we can add a prompt. Let's say 18 years old sitting on a chair. Now we wait till the image is generated. And now we have our 18 year old Brad Pitt sitting on a chair. So it's just incredible what you can do with this tool. So that's pretty much the basics, what you need to know how to use mid journey. I hope that video helped. If you want to see more videos about AI, make sure to subscribe to not miss that. See you in the next one.